Hey Total MTG fans, it's Matt here. And I'm sitting here with my wife, Emma, tonight. Hello. And I'm going to crack open an Over the Gatewatch booster box. And I just got it from my local game store, Promethean Games. So I get a nice buyer box promo, which is a nice foily Goblin Dark Dweller. So that's a very nice card that you get when you, um, you know, buy it from your local store if they've got any of these left. I suggest going to get one because it's very nice. So I'm going to start cracking into this. Um, we will um, keep a track of the value of the box as we go. So if you have a look up in one of the corners, we'll have a run in total. Booster boxes are going for around 75, 70 to 80 pounds. So probably between 90 and 100 dollars, I guess. So here we go, here's some lovely, lovely packs, so I think I will take them out, put them into some piles, uh, probably going to whiz through the commons, just get through to the uncommons and the rares, um, and see what we pull. Obviously you've got, still got a good chance of pulling expeditions in these packs, which would be very nice. Uh, most expensive card apart from the expeditions in the set I think is a Nissa possibly or the red um, instant spell um, Kozilax return all oh, got a nice little wasteland there so I keep that that's nice get to the uncommons so we start off with a cliffhaven vampire an essence depleter a step Gilder and our first rare. Oh, it's a lovely first rare. It's a massive reshaper. Um, obviously, the card, some of the cards in the set are not worth a lot of money, but that is one of the more expensive cards. Mm. So that's a good start. And we get an island. So that is our first rare. So we started off with a nice rare to start with, which is what we want. And we get one of the wastelands. Which is good. So on to the next pack. Here we go. So here we go to the uncommons. A Sea Guardian, a Grip of the Royal, a Reckless Bushwhacker. I like that card. And our rare is Tyrant of Valakut. So it's a five and two res. It's very expensive. Five four with flying. It does have surge as well. Uh, it's a three and double red, so you cast this spell for its surge cost. If you or a teammate cast another spell this turn, uh, when it enters the battlefield, if its surge cost was paid, it deals three damage to target creature or player. And we have a nice planes and a ski on. So here we go. On to our next pack. So, oh, nothing lovely little waste. So we'll whiz through these, get to the um, common. So we have a Wall of Resurgence, a Castle's Toll Collector, Unity of Purpose, and our rare is Deceiver of Form. So one of the Eldrazi, six and a colourless land. At the beginning of your combat and your turn, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, reveal this way. You may have creatures you control. Other than Deceiver, become copies of that card until the end of the turn. You may put the card above your library. So, yeah, not too bad. And we get a Planes. So, on to our next pack. Here we go. See if I can speed it up a little bit. Get to the uncommons. Here we go. Wall of another wall of resurgence. A Balaf Null. Sea Guardian. And our rare is Zendikar Resurgent. Five and two green. Uh, it's enchantment. Whenever you tap a land for mana, add one mana to your mana port of any type of land produced. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. So, maybe a good EDH card. And an island. So, on to our next pack. Here we go. Supposed to be some luck. We're not bringing much luck at the moment. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm sending lucky vibes. You promised me a foil land. So... On to the uncommons. We have Allied Reinforcements, Null Cooler, Tears of Valakut, and the rare Reality Smasher. 5-5, five, five, Trample Haste, 4 and a Colourless. Whenever Smasher becomes the target of spell opponent control, 
counter that spell unless it's controller discards a card. And we get a swamp. And our first foil is a foil rare. It's Hedron Alignment. Um, Hexproof Enchantment. Beginning of your upkeep. You may reveal your hand if you do with the, win the game. It's one of those ones where you need it in all parts of the thing. Um, one in the graveyard, one in um, exile, one in the graveyard, one in the battlefield, and then you win the game. So, it's not bad. It's a nice four. Right, Emma. My wife's going to okay. open a packet. Gonna, Here we go. Going to try and be lucky. Here we go. I usually open these wrong and get told off. Going to get me a lucky, lucky expedition land. I don't see the one that's So, that's it. Right. Okay. So, get rid of... Yeah, get rid of the commons. See. I'm not very good at this, though. Doing it from a funny angle, guys. You have to excuse the angles. She's leaning in to do it. Right. When do, I get, when do I get to them? There we go. Oh, hold on. Oh. That was the... Oh. So, sorry, sorry guys. <laughs> she missed the rare. And it was a mythic rare. And it was a very Ooh. good card. It is yes. Kalita's Traitor of Get. It's the Vampire Warrior 3-4 Lifelink. That's a really good card. I wanted to build an EDH deck around this card. Ooh, 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 so, go. you pulled a Mythic. Well done. Any, none of these any good? No. Well, you got a foil there as well. What's that, a foil? Oh, is it a foil? Oh, it's another foil rare as well. So, Eldrazi Displacer. Oh, I am lucky. So, yeah, we pulled two packs, two double rares. So, we do like that. That was very lucky. Right. So yeah, so we've got a Kalitas and a Foil Displacer, so this is not too bad at the moment. Hopefully the money will be piling up on the cards. Right, so here we go. Get through to the uncommons. So we have a Devouring Flames, a Havoc Sour, Make a Stand, and the rare is Drana's Chosen. Uh, two, two, three, and a black. Tap and untap. Alley control. Put a two, two black zombie into control. Taps. Not too bad. And a mountain. So we go on to our next pack. Here we go. So let's get through the commons. So we get on. Oh, we get our first uh, uncommon land, which is a Cinder Barons, Cliffhaven Vampire. Press into service, and our rare. Oh, it's a nice, it's an Oath of Gideon. Uh, really like this card. When Oath of Gideon enters the battle, put two ally creature tokens onto the battle. Each planeswalker you control enters the battle with an additional loyalty counter. Very sweet card. The Oath. We get a planes and an ally token. So, we search on. Looking for value. I'd love a planeswalker. If we could get a planeswalker, I'd be very happy. Because I am a planeswalker fan. No matter good or bad. Right, so we have an Iron is Blessing, a Cyclone Sire. Get another one of the uncommon lands, Meandering River, that's very nice. And our rare is Endbringer. Eldrazi, five and a colours. Um, join each other, but uh, Endbringer, join each other's players. Untapped step, you can tap, deal one damage to target creature or player. Colourless target creature can't attack or block this turn, and you can draw a card. So, yeah, that's a pretty sweet card. And we get an island. So, I think we're about nine minutes in, so we're trying to whiz through the cards. Go through these commons. Get to the uncommons. And here we go. And it's our soothsayer. Primers of Salt. And our rare is a Munda's Vanguard. Uh, four and a white seems expensive. Three, three ally, and you get to tap an untapped ally you control. Put a one-one crown on each creature you control. So, has a nice effect. Quite expensive card, but it yeah, has a nice effect, which is what we like. So, where are these expedition lands? It would be nice if we if we pulled one on camera. Always good. So let's whiz through these. So, oh, first reflector mage. Love this card. Uh, if you see in one of our um, previous versus matches, Connor was using this to good effect. Bonds of Mortality, Grip of the Royal, and the rare is, is one of the lands. Seagate Wreckage. Um, adds colours, you pull two and a colours, draw a card. Um, you activate this position if you had no cards in hand. We have a mountain, and we have another foil. It's a common um, Saddleback Lagak. So, put that there. 
on to our next pack. Here we go. Right. Oh, oh, we get one of the lovely art. I love that wasteland art. That's lovely. Whiz through these. Get to the old commons. So we have a warping whale, another Balaf Null, Thought Harvester, and our rare is we're going on the land search now. It is a corrupted crossroads. Taps to add colourless, and you can pay one life to add um one mana of any colours you manacle. Spend this only on devoids. And we get a planes. Right. So here we go for the next pack. And then we'll let the wife open one because she was lucky. We're on a yes. bit of an unlucky streak again now. Pulled the best pack so far. Oh yeah, you pulled a very good pack. Right. So here we go. Another reckless bushwhacker. Bonds of mortality. Jorago. Butchered that one. Jorago auxiliary. And our rare is bearer of silence. Two one for two. Uh, when you cast Bear of Silence, you may pay one of the colours. If you do, target opponent and sacrifice a creature, so that's pretty sweet. We get a forest. Oh, we get well, a nice land. Not the um, expedition land. I got excited slightly there. Oh. But it is the Uncommon as Cinder Barons. But it is a nice foil card. So now we go over to Emma. See she's, what she's going to pull. Okay. Here we go. Da, 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 da. All right. Try not to do it at an angle this time. For the viewers to see. <laughs> It's pretty hard because you're coming in from an angle with the, okay, with the stick there. Here we go. Maybe I've got my hand. Right. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So whiz through the commons. Get, oh, got a nice waste Ooh, there. We like that land. That yeah, it's not worth any of it. It's good for my new colours EDH deck that I'm going to build. Am I... So get to the commons. Where's the commons? So here we go. So we have an immobiliser. Eldrazi. What else you got? Instant. Yeah, what's it called? She can't say the name. <laughs> Immolating Glare. Right, next card. Try and say that one. Draga. Draga uh, Auxiliary, guys. <laughs> and the rare is. What's the rare? <laughs> da, 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 da. It is. Crush of, Crush of tentacles. tentacles. So sorcery. It's four, two blue. Mm. It's a sorcery. Return on non-land permanent. Oh, I was reading that, but never Sorry. mind. <laughs> right, guys, it's not a very good rare, but. Well, it's probably not bad, but it's not a money card, I don't think. And that's what you get a ski on. Ski on. Right. Oh, that was not a good one, was it? No, that was a poor one. Okay. Right, let's get on to the rest of these one. packs. Still got piles of packs there to go pile, so we're going to get through these really quick now. Let's get to the uncommons. So here we go, Tranquil Van, very nice. Half the Troll, Visions of Brutality. And we get a nice Eldrazi Mimic, cost two, two, one. Whenever another clutch creature is better than under your control, you may exchange... You may change Mimic's base power and toughness to that creature's power and toughness to win the turns. That's very nice. And we, ooh, a nice ooh. foil full art lands. So we get double mountain in that pack. That's what we like. Double mountain. Do you like the um, full art Zendikar lands, especially when they're foil. Oh, so we get another last waste. Get to the um, commons. Here we go. So we have the immolating glare. And there was a glare with the site there. Press into service. And I re oh, lovely. Kozilax return. It's the most expensive card in the set. It's a mythic. Probably coming in at 20 pounds. That is a very nice, nice mythic. That's what we like. That's what we like. So we're putting value in here. Keep it going. So, what we want right here we go let's get through these another nice excited. wasteland i'm excited now here we go so we get havoc sower void grafter birthing hulk and we get one of the lands ruin of orin reef um enter the back of tapped out of colors and then you can tap and put one one counter on target colors creature um that enter the battle for this turn so it does have a bit of a bit of a stipulation but this is where we are at the moment. So, still have a few packs to go. There we go. So, get through these. This is bored. Get to the uncommon. So, we have Unity of Purpose, Walker of the Waste. Another one of the uncommon lands. And our rare. Oh, we get a nice land there. We get Needle Spires. Um, Enter the Battle of Taps. It's one of the. Um, Creature lands, uh, you can pay two a red and a white, and it becomes a 2 1 red white elemental with double strike, so that's pretty sweet. 
we get a mountain and we get a foil sweep away so there that was pretty nice good to get one of those lands at last probably stop it for an expedition right now but hey beggars can't be choosers so let's get through these get to the uncommons so we have Tears of Valakart, Relentless Hunter, Balath Pup, and our rare. We get another land, not the one we want, Ruins of Orin Reef. Swamp and an ally. So we're going for a stage of getting a lot of lands again, but not the foily lands that we'd like. And hopefully this will be a lucky, lucky Planeswalker pack. You never know. So we have Relief Captain, Ruin the Wake. Play a drone and fall of the titans. Um, played against this card in uh, pre release and it was very good against me. Um, fall of titan deals X damage to each of up to two target creatures and or players, and you can play for your surge cost as well if you've cast an extra card this turn. Do like fall of the titans. So, there we go. On to the next pack. Get through and the gate was in there. So we have a uh, chitinous cloak, grasp of darkness, weapons trainer, and our rare is the legendary Murpha Wizard Jory and Ruined Div Diver. Can't get it out. Uh, could be a good little EDH card. One of our subscribers wants wants me to do a uh, tiny leaders with this card. Uh, when you cast your second spell each turn, draw a card. So that's pretty sweet. And we get a Plains and an Eldrazi. So, here we go. On to this pack, then we'll let the wife have a go. See if she's brought back her luck. Of a double rare pack. Don't know. Give it a go. Give it a go. Right, so we have a Null Caller. Fourth Harvester, Harvester Troll. And the rare... Oh, we Ooh. get the Planeswalker. This is Yay. what we want. Nissa, voice of Zendikar. Go on, Nissa. Lovely. So, your plus one ability is put a 0 1 green plant token in play. Minus two, put a 1 1 counter on each creature control. And the minus seven maximum is you gain X life. Draw next card with X is number of land you control. So, lovely, lovely mythic there. So, I don't know how you're going to beat that, but. I'll give it a go. I've got a feeling this is lucky. The only way you can beat it is probably, I don't know, one of those shiny lands. I'll try. Just don't make me pronounce them. There we go. You can tell I've opened a lot of packs, so I'm super quick, guys. Hey, I'm quick too. I just don't know when the good ones start. That's it. They're silver in the corner. Silver there. So you need to take your thumb out of the way. Oh. Go for it. Go. Just get faster. Oh. Nearly. Right, now we start. So. Okay. Try and pronounce them. No. Even I can't pronounce that one. <laughs> Spatial Contortion. Next card. Devouring yeah, Flames. Oh, I've done that one. That's an easy one. Next card. I own this blessing. And the rare is. Da, 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 da. <sighs> it is a Dread Defiler. Ooh. 6 8. Devoid. 6 and a black. Um, pay 3 and a colours. Exile a creature card from your graveyard. Opponent loses life equals the card's power. So that's pretty nice. Is that Any... a good one? It's a good one. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Anything bad, behind bad. it? <laughs> an or island. An island. Anything else? That's a it. Little... Funny token thing. Right, here we go. So, that was our rare there. Still about 14 packs to go. So, I'm going to try and get through these as quick as I can. So, here we go. Get to the uncommons. So, we have a Mind Melter. One of the uncommon lands. Lovely Suburb Boneyard. Grasp of Darkness. And we get another Reality Smasher. Swamp and that. Here we go. Let's see how quick we can get these last packs done. Right. I want to watch the TV. Get through. Kuzzle's Toll Collector. Stoneforge Acolyte. Oh, the card that I've been looking for. And I think this is only my first one. Maybe two. Uh, Storm Chase Mage. Want that for my modern Delver deck. And our rare is a Sylvan Advocate. It's got Vigilance 2, 2, 3, Ally. As long as you control six or more lands, Advocate get, advocate and land creature you can get plus 2, 2. I will get that out. Right, we are down, I think, to the last little pile. There we go. 
So, where's true? Get to the uncommons. Oh, pile of cards about to fall over. Stride Harness. Flare Drone. Birth in Hulk. And we get another Torrent of Valakut. It's the big 5-4 Dragon. We've seen that one before. Right. Here we go. So, Akin Flame. Get to the uncommon. So, we have a Pyromancer's Assault, Timber Gorge, Malakos Susa, and we get a Stonehaven Outfitter. And we get a Foil Maker Stand. Not the foil we were looking for, guys. So, guys, if you cracked some boosters, let me know what you get in your packs. If you cracked a booster box, let me know, you know, if you've, if you've made value on the set. Obviously, at the moment, you know, until we know what the professionals are going to put in their decks, we don't know, you know, some prices will go up. Oh, there's another Storm May, just what I want. And our rare is Remorseless Punishment. Uh, target Pound is fired off unless they play a discard two guards or sacrifice a creature or planeswalkers. Repeat this process once. So that seems like a fun card. So we are down to the last. What have we got? Two, four, six, seven. So, oh, lovely little waste. Get to the uncommon. So we have a meandering river, embodiment of fury, warping whale, and we get which was my promo card, which is oh, Oath of Jace, my promo card at pre-release. That's what I got. So I have a couple of them now. Maybe good in a walker's deck, but not a lot else to be honest. So here we go through again. We get to the uncommon. So we have a river drone, a mine melter, submerged boneyard, and we have an overwhelming denial. Um, that's the uh, counter target spell. It can't be countered by spells or abilities. You can play for your surge costs as well. And we get a swamp. So, are you guys liking the surge? New that our new mechanic that we've got in standard now let me know there's another waste um, you know the waste those little these waste cards are probably going to be worth 75p to a pound so they're you know they're, they're pretty sweet to be honest and our rare is Captain Claws uh, cost 2 creature gets plus 1 Nord when a creature attacks put a 1-1 one, one ally tapped and attacking on so we're down to our final five packs. Here we go. So here we go. What we're we gonna get? What we're we gonna get? Another planeswalker would be nice. Expedition land would be nice. Oh, lovely reflector mage, gift of tusks, and we get an oath of Nissa, which is a very very nice card. Um, got a lot of text there. When it's about to look at the top three cards in your library. You may reveal a creature card, a land, planeswalker card from among them, put it in your hand, put the rest of the bottom of your library in any order. Uh, you may spend mana as though it were mana any colour to cast planeswalker spells. So, we're going to pass it away for the last time. Oh, I thought I was going to open the last pack. Before I open the final three. Oh, I want to open the last one. No, the last one's never lucky. <laughs> the fourth from last is lucky. Oh, pressure. So, here we go. Okay. Get to the uncommons. There we go. What we got? Yep, yep. No, it's still not there. Still not there. We're there now. Yep, we're there. There. Is that one now? So that's the first one. Reaver drone. Allied reinforcements. One of the other lands again. Timber gorge and your rare is Eldrazi obligator. Ooh. So let's have a look at that. What's that do? Let's have a look. Um, Eldrazi Obligator uh, costs two a red, it's a three one. When you cast Obligator, you may pay one of the cards. If you do gain control of type creature and turn untap that creature and it gains haste. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. And a swamp. Can't beat a full art land. Right, down to the final packs. Here we go. Are we going to be lucky? A uh, Ballot Pup. 
You know, Strike Harness and the Rare is always oh, one of the nice cards. It's the money card. Mm. Thought not here. Yeah. Uh, three in the colours, four for when it enters the battlefield, type in Ruse's hand, you choose an online card and exile it. When he leaves the battlefield, target opponent draws a card. So that's a drawback, but it also has a very good effect as well. Oh, and we get another foil for Art Mountain. So, that is very sweet. Good we pack. don't mind a, a couple of for Art. That was a good pack, that was. You know, that pack's probably worth £16, if not more, that one pack. So, here we go. Get to the Uncommons. Final two packs. This is Judgment and the Rare Call of the Gatewatch. Uh, it's the you know, first time, I think, for Search for a Planeswalker card. So that's pretty sweet. Nice mountain. So, guys, we're down to the final pack. Final one. Last chance. We pulled some very nice cards. Pulled a Planeswalker. Kozlas Return. Some full art. Oil lands, not the expedition, but still some very, very nice cards. We've still got still one got pack cards. to go, so here we go. So, to the last one, Step Gilda, Cinder Barons, Prophet of Distortion, and our final rare is oh. Dread Defiler. It's that one again, and oh, no expedition. Hey guys, so just a quick recap of what we pulled there. We pulled some very nice cards. Um, the Eldrazi Displacer Foil was very nice, you know, that's like 12, 13 quid. The Nissa Voice of Sendikar, 18, 20 for the Kozilak. Um, some good pricey uncommons in the Stone, uh, uh, Storm Chaser Mage, Reflector Mage and the Warping Whale. Um, not forgetting that these two four for Art Lands, they're both money as well. Six, six pound, I think one about five pound another. So the grand total... Um, obviously excluding all the commons and uncommons, um, even like, you know, the full art lands, they, you know, they'd be, they'd be worth eighteen twenty pounds but I've not included them in the booster box price, or the promo that's probably worth about ten twelve pounds but just from, you know, everything, all the rares, mythics, and the expensive uncommons, we come in at £151.54p, so bear in mind, you know, a box costs 75 to £80, pounds. To come in, you know, with value of £151 is very, very good. So, you know, that's pushing probably, I don't know what the exchange rate is now, but probably pushing £200, $180, something like that, $190, $180 maybe. So, um, whether I've just been lucky um, with my packs, you know, or not, I don't know. Let me know in the comments, you know, what roughly your boxes are going for, If you know, if you price them up or anything like that. Um, but I'm very, very happy with my box. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe and support the channel any way you can. Um, we'll see you guys soon. Cheers guys.